Hey everyone, welcome to the Introspective Detective channel. My name is Alan Ray, and on this channel we explore life and the human experience through the lens of spirituality. In this video today, we're going to examine the concept of truth. What is truth? We hear this word tossed about occasionally, but do we really understand what it means? When we hear the word truth, for most of us, we uh, flash back to grade school when this concept was, was first introduced to us within the um, framework of a true or false test. Truth, as it has been positioned to us, uh, the way that we typically perceive that is it has to do with conformity with fact or reality, with um, a verifiable fact, things of that nature. But did you know that there's a, a much deeper meaning to the word truth and that it can have a monumental impact on our lives? So truth in a spiritual sense is experiential in nature. We're not talking about something that you can read about in a book or, or look up on the internet. So take that understanding and set that aside for a moment. Truth with a capital T, is not to be found in the external world, but rather it's inside of us. Now, what I mean by that, um, as we get to know our true authentic self better, which is the you that you were before the world told you who to be, you discover your connection to your creator. Okay, as that personal relationship develops, um, our perception and, and uh, our ability to understand and comprehend expand. My experience has been that we learn more of our own true nature and uh, we learn more of, of the nature of our maker. And we're shown that which is true um, as he communicates to us with circumstance uh, via our hearts. So all of this um, begets the question, how does one see truth? Actually has less to do with an action taking place and more to do with, with inaction, with what we let go of. So discernment, or the ability to perceive truth, is there inside each and every one of us. At present, it's being masked by bias, by internal resistance, by... Uh, belief systems, by old emotional reactions, and so on. So every narrative that, that we believe, um, which simply means a story that the mind tells us, prevents us from seeing truth. In, in moments where we could apply the narrative or apply the truth, we apply the familiar narrative. Fear, anger, judgment, all of these things serve to cloud our perception. Or, or block it. They certainly don't expand it. So why, why do these things take place? Why do we do these things? It's the ego which holds tightly to that which is untrue. So in moments when we're presented with an idea that contradicts another idea where we presently hold, ask yourself um, when this type of a scenario occurs, do you calmly listen to the other party's perspective? As they're talking, do you remain open or are you thinking about what you want to fire back with? Are you already in that place of, of wanting and needing to be right before the totality of, of the other person's perspective has, has even had an opportunity to unfold? Um, do you allow yourself to consider the other perspective? If someone suggests that we're mistaken about a point we're making, do we take the time to research the issue from every angle? Again, these are the questions that we're, we ask ourselves to bring uh, self-awareness to the issue. Do we exhaustive, exhaustively explore every viewpoint to make certain that we fully understand the issue at hand? 
do we, in other words, do we allow truth? Or do we listen to anger and immediately look for information which supports our existing perspective? Meaning um, we're looking to be right. We're looking to reinforce our, our rightness in the situation. Or do we look for truth? Uh, you know, this is the question we have to ask ourselves. Are we trying to uh, seek the truth or are we trying to win? So ultimately, the ability to perceive truth begins with our own individual self-awareness. <clears throat> so again, ask, these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves in our day-to-day exchanges. Do we, do we remain comfortably tucked within our pre-existing notions? You know, do we, do we stay comfortable in our existing narratives that we tell ourselves? Or do we allow truth as our guide? <clears throat> Are we perceiving reality, what's really happening? Or are we perceiving the world and others around us through the eyewear of our ideas, our internal narratives, all the pre canned things we're already telling ourselves before we've even stepped into that space? And the trick here is to not answer this question. Instead, we want to open ourselves to it. So to, to wrap things up and bring things to a conclusion, truth needs no defending. The truth speaks for itself when we allow it to. Right now, you're likely not seeing truth because you're tuned in to the story of your cultural narrative or, or anger or anxiety, fear, depression, and so forth. All of these things only serve to muddy the waters and prevent you from seeing that which is true. So as you go forward, begin observing yourself uh, internally. And you will find that truth is still there. It has been the entire time operating in the background. It's just a matter of when you're ready to turn the channel. So that's all I've got for today, guys. Hope you found this information to be helpful. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.